Hey you guys, Agri Gamer here. Got a new game for you. Well, new ish. It's a new game to me. I've played it a few times here and there. It's called 60 Seconds. What is the premise of this game? Well, the premise of this game is you're just an average all American family enjoying yourself on a good afternoon. Your family's in the house, you got your son, your daughter, you, your wife, or your husband, if you're, or whatever you have, your family basically, and they're just enjoying themselves and having fun, and then the sirens go. Nuclear bombs are incoming, you have 60 seconds to get inside the shelter. What do you take? Do you grab your family? Do you grab the food? Do you grab your guns? What do you take? And this is this game, and then this game goes on. Okay, you've taken what you have, now survive with it. So that's the point of this game. The point of this game is, uh, hey look, looks like a Cherokee. Uh, but the point of this game is, you have 60 seconds to grab as much shit as you can, get inside the nuclear shelter you have, and survive for as long as possible until you're rescued. And the, all the while, facing horrible, horrible things that happen in the wasteland. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this game. There are some problems with it, but it is a fun, enjoyable experience. Bit overpriced, but still a fun, enjoyable experience. So, without much further ado, let's get right into it. With, uh, with just an apocalypse. It's the end of the world as we know it. Anyway, so let's go with the fat man. Because, you know, why not? Oh, shit, return. <laughs> Wrong button, sorry, guys. My bad. Anyway. Let's begin the adventure. Welcome to the, just another average day. Just another average day. Well, alright, here we are. Now we gotta start planning. What the shit are we gonna grab? There's our daughter. Where's the shelter? Shelter's over there. There's our son. Where's our darling wife? Over there. Alright, shit. Start grabbing shit! Gas mask! Grab the gas mask. Gun, gun. Need that. I need that shit. I put that in. Okay, grab my wife. Come on, come on, honey. We gotta go. Fall up. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where's my son? Where's Boyo? Come on. Uh, put it in. Come on. Ah, come on, sonny boy! We gotta go! We got places to be! Shit to do! Come on! We're running out of time! Ah, we gotta li Gotta grab my daughter! I'm not leaving without her! Ah, come on, 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 come on! I think I got time to grab- No, no, I got nothing! I got nothing more! This is as much as I could grab. I don't want to risk it. We grabbed what we grabbed. We grabbed the gun, the gas mask. Other than that, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how much food we grabbed. I don't know how much water we grabbed. Day one. Well, this is the family. Apparently we grabbed a fair amount of water. Could have grabbed more food. Gun, flashlight, scout book. Oh, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. When we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. We can't really say we recall putting all these supplies here, but we're definitely going to use put them to good use. Mm, good. Well, look at here. One of us must have hid this inside the suitcase a while ago. So lucky you took that suitcase. Ah, hell. Just hoping to get something other than a stupid... Alright, I think it'll be good one day without eating.
It's very difficult to prepare for unforeseen consequences when you don't see them coming. Well, they are unforeseen by definition. So that does make a lot of sense. We can't say we were prepared for what happened. Day one. Day two. Shit's getting real. Dad hasn't shaved. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready for harsh reality that awaits us. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying out so out loud. Dull Timmy seems okay, as much as he can be in our current situation. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Time to ration supplies. No one's hungry. No one's thirsty. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta find we gotta find food. We gotta find stuff. One minute, it was all fine, and the next, we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane! We need to get a grip on ourselves if we're gonna survive this. Let's just sleep on it, okay? So, day three, three days in this shelter. Enough arguing. There are more important things to worry about. Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. Okay, so everyone's thirsty. Then everyone shall drink. Ted, you're the you're the man of the family, so you're gonna to have to go out and protect them. Okay, I have faith in you, Ted. Anyway, if I remember correctly, the family's name is Ted, Dolores, Timmy, and Mary Jane. Ted is the husband. Dolores, the wife with the red hair. Mary Jane, the fat daughter and Timmy is the son well Ted has gone out Mary Jane says she's fine doesn't need anything okay so everyone's fine just like that Robert De Niro movie everybody's fine hold on to the flashlight it's the only thing we got Well, what did that get us? Everyone okay? Let's hope so. You need to make a proper inspection. That was one nasty earthquake. We never used to get such bad ones before. It's all because of the atoms. Definitely the atoms. No one should mess with atoms. No one. Alright, so everything seems fine for now. How about that lake we've been going to for the past few years? It would be so good to find ourselves there far away from this madness. Swim a little. Maybe take a boat ride. Even if the whole place turned into Adamville. So, Ted's outside. Everyone seems fine. Oh, they're thirsty. Everyone's thirsty. Alright, so, water they shall have. Alright, speaking of, let's get some food in me. Hmm. Six days so far. So far, so good. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't. But we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is, they've probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is, they're huge and they will probably attack us when they get a chance. Why Scout book to the rescue? Why this? Oh, and the the main mechanics of this game are that events will pop up, right? And you will have all the items you have, and it's up to you to decide which item to use. Some items will work out great for you. Other items will work out poorly for you. Like in one situation, if you use uh, the Boy Scout book, you'll come out great. You find the new stuff. You'll lose nothing. Another situation, someone will get sick. Someone will get hurt. Someone may even die. So you gotta know which choice to make. Alright, everyone's hungry. Let's feed them. Alright, well then, let's flash him some... Let's flash a light! I wanna shine a light! 
Oh no, it's a dog! Alright, let's see. We decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog! Both things seemed tired, so he left it to stay with us for the night. Next one, we need to open the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. Everything seems fine. So far, so good. Nine days. Nine days in this shelter. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal and we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Everyone's thirsty. Let's get him something to drink. And this is an example of a choice you need to make. We opened the bunker door this morning to let in some air. A small suitcases on our doorstep was there. There was a note, and the neighborhood was empty. Shall we take a look inside? Now here's the risk. Whatever is inside, it may be a booby trap. It may be radioactive. It's gonna hurt one of us. And as it stands, I don't have a med kit. I have nothing that can help us if one of us gets injured. On the other hand, it could be it could genuinely be supplies. In this case, however, without a backup, I'm gonna have to decline. And we have enough water to last for a while, so I don't see the need to take such a tremendous risk. Ted's back. Hungry and tired, huh? Surprise, surprise. It's pretty simple. If we don't know where it comes from, we cannot trust it. There's no way we're taking this gift. We left it outside. Maybe some cockroach will want it. <sighs> the kind of cockroach that enjoys ties and occasional cigar and of course leather suitcases. Ted has safely returned from his voyage on the surface. The proud Ellison Hotel was completely destroyed. Piles and piles of luggage were lined between heaps of rubble. Only a few rooms on lower levels partially survived. Now I know the secret of the restaurant chef. It's tomato soup. No wonder they have a five-star hotel. In what was left of one of the rooms, two figures were playing chess. One was a skeleton and the other was a man in some kind of metal armor. They gave us their chessboard, claiming they had a spare one. Oh, and I suppose one of them was playing for his life. Only when we walked away did they did we discover they gave us checkers instead of chess. What a sick joke. The lobby was mostly destroyed and barely anything could be found on the floor except for one very, one very hairy and very dead lumberjack. He had an axe in his hand. Mary Jane seems fine. Everyone's fine except for Ted. Ted is hungry and thirsty, so... Let's give the man some food and some water. Timmy! Be brave, Timmy! Go out and answer the phone, Timmy! 